In the framework of Albania's relationship regarding the EU, seven MPs of the European Parliament, along with Nut Fleckenstein, will visit the country on Wednesday, February 27th. Just a few weeks away from the beginning of the tourist season, the Association of Tour Operators has raised a number of problems. However, beyond these concerns, Albania's political crisis is an added problem which may reduce the number of tourists. Environmentalists consider it to be a mistake to allow the importation of older vehicles, claiming that this will have irrevocable effects on the environment and on people's health. Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Saturday, the 23rd of February, 2019. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Oliver, and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country, translated into English. Well, on Wednesday, February 27th, a seven-member delegation from the European Parliament is scheduled to visit Albania. The visit by European parliamentarians aim at improving the relations between Albania and the respective European Union countries, where the European Parliament plays an important role. Albania expects a response in June from the European Council to open up negotiations, which, due to the political situation currently playing out in the country, is difficult to achieve this year. Even though members of the European Parliament have planned an earlier visit, they will soon find themselves face to face with the situation where the opposition has handed over their mandates and the Albanian Parliament remains with just over half of its members in the midst of what has been described as an institutional crisis. MEPs will have meetings with the top state leaders such as President Meta, Prime Minister Rama, and the opposition leader Luzin Basha. In the discussions, the topic of current political situation in the country will inevitably be broached. However, Nut Fleckenstein has warned that this time Europeans will no longer be the mediator. It is learned that the seven MEPs of the European Parliament will also pay a visit to Albania's neighboring country, North Macedonia. Moving now on to tourism, despite the increasing number of tourists in recent years, interest groups are urging the government to take measures to improve the tourism sector. Clinton Gurjani, president of the Association of Tour Operators in Albania, points out that this tourist season risks having fewer tourists than before due to the political crisis and the protests that have enveloped the country. Gurjani wants to take measures for improving infrastructure, cleanliness, accommodation services, and require the certification of tour guides. Depending on the governmental measures aimed at extending the country's tourist season, summer still remains the most popular time for frequenting Albania's popular beaches. As you may have heard, since January of this year, the government has not allowed the importation of vehicles more than 10 years from their initial production. The decision was taken in order to protect the environment. However, it is now learned that a request was made by the Minister of Infrastructure and Energy, Belinda Baluku, to amend the government's decision. The importation of vehicles produced more than 10 years ago poses a serious risk to the health of residents in Albania, and according to well-known environmentalist Suzanne Gouri, it would be unjust to approve a request over the annulment of the previous decision. According to him, older vehicles are, not, are now not composed of the right elements to ensure public health and safety as they emit a high level of toxins. In Albania, environmental pollution by vehicles is much higher than what is typically allowed in other countries, while data shows that as a consequence of pollution, cases of cancer and disease has already been on the uptick, notably affecting younger individuals. Experts say that 50% of the environmental pollution in Albania comes as a result of the toxins in emissions released by vehicular gases at the same time when European Union countries are taking all possible measures by promoting the exit from a market consisting of older vehicles. The Minister of Infrastructure and Energy, who assumed duty just less than a month ago, seems to have decided to allow the importation of older vehicles by proposing an initiative permitting cars produced before the year 2008. Three trucks were toppled over in the Lej Milot Highway this morning due to the strong winds that blew across the region in the early hours. The drivers fortunately survived and are reported to have sustained minor injuries, but the vehicles caused many difficulties for traffic as state police appealed to drivers to proceed on the roads more carefully. Some houses have been damaged as a result of the windstorm in Puka and Leja. A citizen by the name of Flora Filippi exclaimed, The storm damaged my roof tiles and it almost injured my child. 
there were also problems with the power supply due to the damage of pillars and distribution lines in some areas around the country. However, OSHA employees have arrived on the scene. Today also saw a return of snowfall in the mountainous areas of Korcha, Debra, and Kukus, but also in the areas of Tirana, Kruya, and Duris. Snowfall was also registered in the Chaflogara area, but there were no reported problems. In the mountainous areas of Korcha, the snowfall measured over 30 centimeters. In the roads of Korcha Erseka, Chaf Bigel Custom Goritz, Dartha, and Voskopoya, vehicles are required to be equipped with snow chains. Snowfall and low temperatures have prevailed in the southeastern city, and the Albanian Road Authority announced that maintenance companies will continue to work on keeping the road segments open. Ten visits to a health center per day. This is the number of visits paid to home patients per day by a family doctor, while cases of the flu increase even more in the same period of time. The frequent change of temperatures has also led to an increased number of hospital visits. Dr. Spressa Rushi calls for continued checkups for those affected by the flu, while meteorologists say the temperature will continue to drop into Sunday, acknowledging a chance of new snowfall. The Institution of Public Health counts 379 new cases of the flu in just the first two months of this year. For three consecutive years, Muzeche's farmers say they sold their winter vegetables under cost, and this year they have planted less. The lack of production has made products like cauliflower, leeks, and onions to reach high prices. The production of cauliflower has maintained its average. However, in larger city markets, this price rises up to 50% higher in total cost. In Elbasan, for, for example, bell peppers and eggplants cost 300 lek per kilogram, while cauliflower has increased to 100 lek. For some consumers, this makes the price of vegetables simply unaffordable. When faced with this phenomenon, where a real retailer earns more than the farmer himself, agricultural experts suggest there is a lack of state mechanisms to prevent it. As a consequence, farmers' production decline and consumers pay higher prices just for basic products. About 20 specialist doctors who, have, who traveled to various districts have benefited from the government bonus. These doctors of various specialties and backgrounds are treated with a bonus amounting to 200 to 250,000 lek in addition to their regular salaries at the time when they sign their contract and provide their services in various districts. Marita Jafai, the Director of Health Policy at the Ministry of Health, explains that doctors themselves express a readiness to serve these districts. But the number of specialists who have received bonuses, which currently amount to just 20 is expected to increase this year. The Ministry of Health suggests that in 2019, 157 specialty doctors will be signing contracts. The issue of this lack of doctors in various districts began with their emigration to Germany, emphasizing the lack of specialists in regional hospitals. In each university, regional, or municipal hospital, it is now decided that a fixed family, fixed family visits are to be prohibited, including the presence of family, friends, and relatives in the emergency room, except in cases when their presence is requested by a doctor himself. This new order was signed into effect by the health minister, Orgerta Monastir Liu, by setting new rules for patient visitors at the hospital. Specifically, family visits for admitted patients will be allowed just twice per day, in the afternoon from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., and in the evenings from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Meanwhile, visits to the hospital for patients requiring urgent care will be permitted twice a day at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. These new visiting hours will be displayed on each sign in each hospital entrance and pavilion. According to the order submitted by the minister, university, regional, and municipal hospitals are tasked with drafting internal regulations, taking measures to display these hours at each hospital entrance and pavilion. At the Information Center, visitors can inquire about specified times at these rules should be followed and respected by the family members of patients receiving hospital services. Exceptions may only occur when a doctor approves of the presence of a family member outside of the new visiting hours. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening. And be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Ora News, thank you and have a great weekend. Kjo është Ora News.